Welcome to Thrill Thrifter. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a few pieces that I have been thrifting and then how I style them in my home. First thing I'm going to show you is this adorable little duck bookend. I thought it would look super cute here on my desk where I sit and do a lot of work and studying. Have these three books here and I thought well how precious would that look just right here on the desk. It's very small and I thought it just complemented this little area with that little duck. It's so sweet. It has all those beautiful little colors in it that I love. And up against the green books here, I just thought it was very, very precious. In this same room over here on my hutch, I have this other brass duck. So I thought that's why I would put it in here since I already had one in here. I guess you could say I kind of got a duck thing going in here. So I thought it would match really cute. And also to go in this same area, I'm going to place the little, um, I don't know if it's sage green or more of a olive green, but either or I'm going to put this green lumbar pillow just right here in this chair. Not only will it be comfortable for me to lean back and sit on, but it matches the green color that I've also got going on here with the books. So it kind of helps bring out that green all right here in my desk area and I really love it. It kind of really looks good against that black desk. And so that's just what this little area is looking like with my thrifted finds. Okay, so next up is the two little bowls. And I think what I'm going to do is I've moved my coffee bar back over here on this little table and I have all my thrifted finds over here and I even have this little thrifted creamer with my spoons in it. And I thought it looked really nice over here just kind of tucked in behind that plant. But I thought, well, now let's just add a layer to it. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little bowls and I'm just going to set them down there first. And then I'm going to set my little creamer in it and kind of tuck it in here in the corner with my greenery and stuff. Get this all right. So there. I really like how just simple touches really just kind of dress up a little spot. It does not take much. Those are some bowls. I think I paid $1.29 a piece for those. And I don't know. I just love to stack and layer things and think it just adds another layer of like cottage decor I guess that's really what I like like country cottage type decor anyway so I think that that added just what I needed over here you notice that I have like little stacks of butter pats I have little stacks of butter pats back here underneath the lamp I just love to layer and stack everything so why not do it underneath the little creamer Alright, so next up I'm going to show you where I put this beautiful picnic basket. Now, if you'll notice behind this recliner, I have a large basket back there that I think came from Ross or somewhere. I also already have a thrifted basket back there. And all I'm going to do with this one is just add it back there as well. I did a whole video on how I use and style over 55 baskets in my home. So if you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But I like to use these because I think that they are beautiful. They have character. They have a story. 
but you can also use them for so many things like you can store stuff what i'm going to do is i have some little table covers i used to keep one on there my cat kept pulling it off so what i'm going to do is put that table cover and a couple other ones that i have in there and just some of my doilies that i'm not using right away and just keep those stored in there when i want to look for a linen to display in a vignette or just anywhere i know that they are in this basket here just on the top behind this recliner now you may notice that i have these where the little hinges are facing out it's because that basket and this basket both have some damage to the front i honestly like looking at the hinges i just love that old i don't know rustic look i like the little pieces of metal that you see so i don't have a problem with turning them this way what i don't know is am i going to leave these handles up like this no i think i'm going to put them down but you never know so <laughs> try it both ways so i think i'm just going to put these down i don't really whoops mess another stuff up i really like how that was looking with the handles up so i'm just going to put them down try to make sure they're level sometimes because these are older you may have to put a little paper towel or something under one corner just to kind of level it up but yeah so this is just what these look like and if i keep getting more and more i will eventually take the basket away from the bottom and just have all picnic baskets stacked up I actually probably have enough in my collection to do that now but i kind of like where i have all of the other ones scattered in and through my home and using for storage so again be sure and check out that 55 baskets of video so you can kind of see what i do with all my thrifted baskets and how i make them just blend into our home comfortably without looking like a basket hoarder for now this is where i have the corn muffin pan I normally have more drinking cups up there but they're all dirty so anyway i just propped that up there in this little open shelving i actually have another one stacked behind that what i really want to do is i think hang them on my wall here above my door i'm not really sure if i'm going to do that or not so for now i just put it right here kind of propped it up in this corner because i don't have enough cups to fill up this whole shelf um, but I do have enough to fill up just this side, this half. It's just that most of them are dirty right now. <laughs> and then I just have my stack of little muffin tins here with my adorable little mini salt and pepper shakers in them. And I just propped and leaned up those little corn muffin tins behind it just to give another little element of metal here. Now I have the Reader's Encyclopedia of World Drama and so many people were laughing at this book about the world drama. And <laughs> oh, Wow, yeah, world drama, that's crazy. I'm just gonna leave that there. But anyway, I think where I'm gonna put this book here is on this little thrifted like little cabinet that I have. Everything here in this little vignette or area is thrifted. Also, my grease can, this little creamer here i usually keep toothpicks in that but i'm out this book is thrifted the doily and like i said the little box but i think what i'm going to do is i did have a red book up here i took it down because i think what i want to do is put this book there but turn the pages so that it looks like this from the kitchen side and then i'll show y'all what it looks like from the living room side because this is the bar in my kitchen and it opens up to my living room so it's all kind of just in here together so let me place this here on this shelf show y'all what it looks like but first i'm going to show y'all where i did have it okay sorry about the lighting it's right by this window but i did have it here just in this little back side of my kitchen table we keep all that's kind of just scooted a against the window and then we just have seating for three because we have like an eat-in kitchen so it's pretty tiny well my cat keeps kind of knocking this lamp over which knocks over the book so that's why i'm going to move it over here to the other side and plus everybody that sits down to eat reads the name of the book and starts laughing something about the encyclopedia of world drama and boy do we have some world drama currently <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to show y'all where I did have it for a little while, but I'm going to move it. Like I said, my cat keeps getting in that windowsill and knocking the lamp over, which knocks the book over, and it's just a whole, a whole thing. Plus, I like how this kind of fills in this space. 
so I'm going to show y'all from both angles what it looks like. So I'm going to put that that way. Is that dust? No, that's just stuff on my book. And then I'm going to stack this other green one with the spine facing this way. So here's what it looks like from over here, the living room side. And this is the kitchen side. So if you were standing in my kitchen, this is what you would see. So I like it. I love the green. I love the old looking pages. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So what's funny now is I'm going to have three thrifted pillows here on my bed. That one there is just a thrifted pillow case and I just put it on a pillow. That one's from the same Goodwill as this one, just separate thrifting trips. So now I'm just going to place this one right here in the front and just have a layered look because y'all know I love to do that. And I think that looks really, really cute, especially with the green blanket and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I'm sure we all have the husbands that love it when we add extra pillows to our beds. So I did pick these three curtain pieces up here very recently. Just don't have them styled yet. I did take one out of the package and I think I'm going to go ahead and try to hang it up here in my living room and see if I like it. But I don't really have these styled and in place like I do everything else. So I'm going to hold off on showing y'all where I put these and how I'm using these. So stay tuned in a future video for that. Well, I hope that this inspires you to get out and go thrifting, secondhand shopping, yard selling, garage selling, any way that you can get things that are unique and different and inexpensive secondhand. I encourage you to get out and do it because over time, all the things that you're buying, if you love them, they will all come together beautifully in your home. So I encourage you to get out and go thrifting and I can almost guarantee you once you do it and you get a room finished and kind of complete and you see that it is all thrifted items, you're going to be hooked with it just like I am. But anyway, y'all, we hope that you have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new thrifting video.